Configuring throttling on Amazon API Gateway REST APIs is crucial for controlling incoming requests, maintaining performance, and preventing misuse. There are two types of throttling, API level throttling and resource method level throttling. In this short, I show how to configure throttling using the API Gateway console. However, you can also follow this QR code to deploy this configuration using AWS SAM. To configure API level throttling, choose the API you wish to configure, then click Stages in the left-hand menu and select the desired stage. In the Settings tab, locate the default method throttling section, set the burst limit for the maximum number of concurrent starts, and the rate limit for the request per second or RPS. Click Save Changes to apply the settings. To learn more about RPS and burst, watch the RPS and burst capacity video in this series. For method level throttling, return to the Stages section, expand the Stages resource tree to reveal a list of associated methods. Click on the method you want to throttle. In the Settings tab, click the Override for this method option and locate the Method Throttling section. Toggle the Enable Throttling switch to On and set the Burst Limit and Rate Limit parameters. Click Save Changes to apply the settings. With the configuration changes in place, test the throttling settings using tools like Postman, Artillery, or Custom Scripts to send requests to your API. Monitor key performance indicators such as error rates and response times. Keep an eye on the CloudWatch logs and AWS X-ray data to spot anomalies or issues. Remember, these settings apply to this API Gateway instance only and cannot override the default RPS and burst settings for the region and account that the API resides in.